Hello, welcome back to the podcast. You're here with Hannah and today I'm going to be sharing something a little bit different. I've been alluding to this for a little while now that I wanted to reshare, repurpose some old content that I created a couple of years ago. And so I just wanted to come on here and I suppose give a little bit of an introduction because this is the series that I'm going to be doing from now until probably the end of the year where I'm sharing some of these old videos that I had created for a different YouTube channel. And, you know, I've since been on this process. I've been through this process of learning to not put myself into boxes and to not compartmentalize my life and who I am and to just embrace all of the different parts of me, all of the different ways that I want to express myself, whether that is through a podcast a YouTube video, a meditation, some sort of creative expression, some sort of DIY or project that I'm working on. I've been on this journey of learning to embrace it all and to give myself permission to share it all and to not feel like I have to limit myself to these boxes. And I've shared a lot about this, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But before we get into this, Before I tell you what I'm sharing with you today, let's pause and take a nice, deep, conscious breath and exhale. Let it all go. We'll do that one more time. Inhaling and exhaling. So in this episode today, I'm going to be sharing an old video I created a couple of years ago where I share some mindful and slow morning rituals. And so much of what I shared back then still stands true, is still really, the message in it, I believe, is still really current today and still stands true today. And so that's why I wanted to repurpose it and reshare it on here and on my YouTube channel so that you can enjoy these uh, tools and these practices and these rituals that I talk about. But I also just wanted to quickly share a bit of my perspective now, a couple of years on from having shared this. And I feel like I was doing these practices back then, these morning rituals, these morning practices, and they were really serving and supporting me, but I didn't completely understand the purpose behind them back then. I feel like we see so much online, all of these different self-care, self-love, self-discovery, self, uh, what do I even want to say here? We see so much advice online about all of these different ways that we can practice self-care and self-love and being present and being mindful. But what is the purpose of that? What is it all about? And I've really come to understand that taking care of ourselves, doing the things that help us to reconnect with ourselves is really what enables us to be ourselves. It's what enables us to express ourselves authentically when we have this space in our lives where we can come back to who we really are we're able to quieten down some of that outside noise, which is taking us away, which is distracting us from who we really are. And then we're looking externally for people to validate us. We're looking externally for all of the answers, all of the solutions. So while it's a beautiful thing that there's so much information out there now about self-care and how to take care of ourselves and how to be more mindful and how to slow down, I really just want to get across the reason why it's so important to do these things. And it's not to have this beautiful, aesthetic, idealized lifestyle. It's really to be able to be ourselves, to be who we came here to be. And so I just wanted to share that perspective before we get into this episode and before I share this video and this audio file, if you're listening on Spotify or however you listen to your podcasts. So I hope you enjoy. I hope that this brings you a bit of calm in your day. I hope that it 
reminds you of just the simplest ways that we can practice being more present, more mindful. And I just hope you enjoy it. It's something that I'm really proud of. I loved creating it and I'm really excited to create more videos like this in the future. But for now, this podcast series is going to be a way for me to reshare those old messages that are still current, that are still really, I believe, are really true and just in a different format. And also it's going to enable me a bit of space over the next couple of months to focus on these other things that I'm creating because I'm just going to be able to sh- reshare some of the old things. But I thought it'd be nice when when it's relevant to come on here and just explain a little bit of context because I have grown and I have changed since I created these this video series a couple of years ago. Uh, yeah. So I just thought I'd share a little bit about my perspective, where I'm at now. At the time, I do talk about being in lockdown. So there's parts of it that are perhaps not as timely, but yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to jump straight into it. And I hope you enjoy. And as always, thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. And I hope that this content today serves you. All right. Enjoy. Life has drastically changed over the last couple of years. I've been finding myself drawn to a slower way of living, needing for less, doing less, achieving less, allowing myself to just be. I find the best time of the day for me to practice slowing down and being more mindful is in the mornings. The world feels slower first thing in the day. I like to start off my day by hydrating. Often we wake up feeling tired and depleted because our bodies are lacking in hydration. So I've been trying to be more conscious of my water intake first thing in the day. I'm also trying to incorporate simple mindful practices into each morning, like making a cup of tea, slowing down and taking in all of the sounds and sensations. This morning I'm making my go-to lemon and honey tea. It's so soothing first thing in the morning, especially in the colder months. to sit and enjoy my cup of tea with a book or even just sitting with my cat Nala and having a quiet moment together on the couch, just being present. Meditation is a non-negotiable for me. Having a daily meditation practice, particularly in the mornings, helps me to centre myself for the day and to start the day off on a calming note. For me, meditation is a deeply healing practice. It allows me to slow down, to focus my attention on the different thoughts, feelings and emotions that I may be having on any given day. This awareness can really help me to meet myself where I'm at and to practice being kinder and gentler to myself, especially during difficult times. I like to burn some incense and essential oils when I practice meditation. This not only helps me to cleanse the space, but it's also a nice little ritual that helps me to be more present as I set up for my meditation. I'll usually meditate for about 15 to 20 minutes in the mornings. It's one of my favorite parts of the day and I always feel more calm and centered after these sessions. Making my morning coffee is also a favorite part of my day. 
It's another opportunity for me to slow down and be more mindful, taking in all of the little sounds, sights and smells as I prepare my coffee. Try this next time you make a coffee. See if you can bring your attention to the present moment and become aware of all of your senses. It's usually after I've made a coffee that I'll sit down and do some journaling. Journaling is something I've been doing for many, many years, but I've always had trouble sticking to a regular routine. Lately, I've been trying to be more consistent, so finding even just five or 10 minutes to write down my intention for the day, along with some things that I'm grateful for and any other things I'm feeling called to write about that day. My fiancé and I will usually then have breakfast. We like to sit down and enjoy our meals together if we can, being present with one another and talking about what it is that we have on for the day. It's then time to get out for a walk and move our bodies. We've been in lockdown for the past few weeks, so we've been really making a conscious effort to do this every day. Going for a walk in nature is such a great way to slow down and be present. I always stop and admire all the beautiful flowers along the way on our walk. Nature teaches us to grow slowly and to take our time. There's a beautiful quote from Lao Tzu which is, Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. I like to try and remember this as I move into the rest of my day, knowing that it's okay to go slowly and to take my time with things. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so glad you're here and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, take care. Bye for now.